G'day and welcome back to Dark Solid Gaming and our Let's Play series here on the Lakeland Vale Farm, a map by Stevie. Map is available from simplysafemods.com and also from Stevie's Facebook page. Links for both are down below in the comments. Alright, we are just about to go and collect some bales. We finished baling uh, our smaller field and I was going to use a truck to grab the bales but uh, knowing I've got a dolly on the flatbed trailers I'm just going to put the truck back in here and we're going to go grab one of the tractors and we're going to go grab it all from there all right so I hope everyone is doing well we have been uh, quite busy a little bit of stuff done off camera and uh, we're moving on steadily with our farm here now obviously the rain has seemingly set in. I am about to fast forward time more. We just had time for a little bit because we wanted to start in the rain just to sort of show a bit of the weather. And uh, we've done that now, so now we need to get rid of the uh, the rain so we can get some work done. Now, what else has happened? Uh, we have actually decided on our Bojolt uh, DLC. Um, we have actually bought some equipment that is going to be used for that and we can show that off right now in fact uh, in fact let's go here um, so far what we have got is we have bought the SPS 36050 so the cultivator which is currently cultivating our large field that we just finished harvesting and we've also bought the Bajolt FMS CD872 seeder and uh, we're looking forward to using both of those machines. So um, we got your feedback. Uh, my mate Phil said it's not worth getting it. And let me say, I don't really think the Bajolt DLC is worth getting. Um, so let's just clear that off right now. However, I got it just so I can showcase it. Obviously on the channel, I was going to do a review on it. I don't think I'm going to because I haven't got really anything positive to say about it. It's okay, but there's just not much there for it. All right. So that's what we're going to do there. So that's it for that. Now, we're going to head down here. I'm going to go through the, uh, the silage plant here. And we're going to go collect our bales first and foremost. And then we're going to go off and have a look and see what's going on down in the other fields. Now we will just, uh, as I said, we'll just increase our time a little bit there. Hopefully the rain will start to uh, dissipate. And we're going to set these up for collection. All right, work mode on. Alright, so now it's going to go up through here and grab the uh, bales. Right, so I hope everyone is doing well. We're uh, obviously in the midst of the... Uh... Oh, I don't want to pick that grass bale. Oh, that's not really going to matter, actually. Uh, we're in the midst of, obviously, our coronavirus crisis uh, worldwide. So uh, I hope everyone is doing safe. There are some that are... Um, certainly affected more than others and I certainly hope you got family members that are unwell or have contracted the coronavirus uh, that they all have a speedy recovery. Uh, obviously the world in differing states and, and options is going through a whole pile of um, isolations and all that sort of stuff and uh, trying to combat it just by isolating everyone and not spreading the disease until we get a, a vaccine uh, of some sort to help out or it just dies of natural attrition. Um, we're sort of, we're doing okay here, we haven't done anything here. However, we are regarded as high risk because uh, I think I've mentioned before, uh, my wife does suffer from a condition called sarcoidosis, which is an autoimmune disease. So uh, that immediately puts her at a, at a higher risk of contracting and, and getting complications. So uh, she's effectively self-isolated she's just staying at home she's been a bit ill with the flu and yes it was just the flu she was tested um, at the moment and uh, but everything for the moment is okay so we're keeping a fairly good watchful eye on it um, certainly at work we've already got processes and procedures in place to work at home if we need to uh, and again because of uh, my wife's condition I've got uh, the ability basically I was told today to just work at home if I want to uh, just to safeguard that uh, however at the moment I think we're okay we have good policies and procedures in place some staff and we've locked down the office so 
we don't have any visitors or anything else like that so uh, we should be okay now obviously uh, various countries like uh, the UK for instance has closed all their schools as of today you know, today being the 19th of March uh, Australia hasn't done that in fact we've actually promised has told off uh, some of the Catholic schools or private schools that uh, closed um, because uh, our government and our medical experts think it's not the best thing for uh, the country for the kids to be uh, all at home because basically what that does is it impacts the workforce and that can negatively actually impact the medical workforce and emergency services by them not being at home because they've got to be at home with after their children or alternatively it could also put more elderly at risk as well because of the fact that if the parents have got to work uh, the grandparents in many cases may be the, the primary carers of the children and then uh, they're subjected to it more so so anyway uh, we're not going to labor on it uh, we've, we've just sort of set our piece on it now and that's pretty much it but uh, just uh, suffice to say just hope everyone is doing okay helping out as best they possibly can um, the other thing that we certainly have which is a problem here in Australia at the moment we have a lot of idiots that are uh, hoarding um, and it's just not necessary uh, certainly in Australia we've got more than enough uh, produce and everything else to sustain us uh, our toilet paper factories are in 24 hour operation at the moment um, but we've still got the idiots and, and unfortunately it is um, a certain ethnic background that's sort of leading the charge uh, but unfortunately that's not helping anyone at all either so uh, that's very unfortunate but hopefully uh, they'll begin to wake up themselves a little bit more and uh, get rid of that problem altogether all right so we'll just leave that grass bale there for now okay so that's most of the bales picked up from that uh, field now and we are now just going to Park the trailer on the tractor here, and we're going to go off and have a look and see what else is happening around the farm. All right, so we've got this guy here. He's uh, not doing much really, just waiting to uh, clean up after the sheep, all that sort of stuff. Um, and uh, other than that, it's okay. Uh, we do have one. We've got one bale of uh, wool up there to move. I probably won't worry about that for the moment either but uh, that's okay there all right here we go so our big 9410 is towing up our new cultivator our result cultivator and cultivating this field and as you can see it's going to take some time to get this finished because he's uh he's nowhere near finished as it is now but uh, that'll progress nicely eventually all right so let's uh, see what else there is for us to do. Right. We've also got the combine here ready to go, so all we've got to do is wait for the rain to go. Because uh, we can't thresh. Well, actually, I think we can. Let's, let's have a look. I think without seasons, we can thresh without it being in the rain. Um, well, wrong button. No, I can't do it through the rain. Alright, that's alright. So we'll just sit there and wait. Alright. What else is there we need to get done? Let me have a look. Let's have a look at the animal's food state. Um, I could do with a little bit of grass, so let's let's go get them some grass. That'll be an idea. All right. Go and grab a trailer and get them. Oh, no, I didn't want to do that either. All right. There we go. That's good. Right. So, help eyes blocked by an object. Really? Really? You're, you're blocked by that. Are you, are you kidding me? Alright. So the, the John Deere is blocked by a uh, little bit of straw. Go figure. Now, if it was a class, it just would have just piled straight over it and not, not had a problem. Alright. 
Like he's, he's struggling, he's really struggling to get this up there. So maybe we need, do need to replace this John Deere uh, with a nice shiny new class at some stage in the near future. Certainly sooner rather than later. Anyway, all right. Let's go back to this guy and we're going to find that trailer and get some grass for our sheep. We're going to need a small trailer, I think. Don't need a huge amount. So we'll just grab some grass here quickly. And we should be good to go. All golden. All right. So that, hope everyone is doing okay. Uh, let us know down below. I do understand our good friend Frith. Um, him and his lovely wife are a little bit ill at the moment. It's uh, last we heard that possibly could be uh, coronavirus. Um, I don't believe that's been confirmed as yet. I think that's just a hunch from from Frith. Uh, but certainly we, uh, we wish them a speedy recovery. And hopefully it's not the coronavirus and uh he'll be uh back and voluntarily on his feet shortly but um chris's wife is also another one that's uh in the high risk category because of uh she's got a couple of medical conditions as well and uh we wish her a speedy recovery as well all right so it's going to dump this here with the sheep See how much they need. Certainly won't be a full trailer, I don't believe. I could be wrong. And I was wrong. Alright, they did need a full trailer. Okay, 57,000. They probably need another trailer full. So let's go get another trailer full. Let's make sure they're all nicely stocked up and fed, and then we'll fill up the water. And make sure they've got a good quantity of water there as well. All right. So, what's the next plan for this farm? Well, I think we need to start looking at selling off some products. We want to do want to start expanding as soon as we possibly can. Uh, the only problem is, I don't know we're going to have that much money um, to make from it. So, we've got 104,000 in wheat. Uh, that's the most notable, noticeable we've got. Or notable. Uh, 54,000 soybeans, 32,000 corn. Um, so we probably could sell a bit of soybean. Uh, that's that's a relatively good price at the moment down the US dairy. Um, what else have we got? Hmm. I think, if I recall, I actually did do some a sale of some of our crop. I think I did sell some wheat. Um, but, uh, yeah, well... We'll probably go and sell off the soybeans because uh, that's our most, most profitable crop, certainly at the moment. Um, that'll give us a bit of an injection in funds. Uh, we could also trade in one of the John Deere's. Hopefully, get a class even second hand would be doing better than what they are. Um, so we might we might well consider that yet. That'll give us a little bit of extra funds. Although I think. If I recall, we needed a minimum of 600,000 um, to buy our next plot of land. So let's have a look, quick look uh, into the lands. All right, so uh, field 20, 691, 698, 1.4, we're not getting that. Although, I guess what we could do is we could also get a loan, uh, although we've already got a $515,000 loan. Um, we could look at increasing that. That's certainly an option. It just means you have to uh, pay more back to the bank. Um, certainly an option. And I think once we take off a load of soybeans, which we'll do right now, uh, I think that'll give us a pretty good indicator of exactly where we stand in relation to how much money we need to make. All right, let's just shuffle them down. Uh, we'll grab the Tatra and we'll go and get some soybeans and go rob it off. Rain still hasn't really gone yet. A little bit there still. I 
is, is lightening up so it certainly looks by the forecast it's going to dissipate very quickly all right so we're going to grab the trailer here Load up with some soybeans. I don't think this will quite be a full load, but it'll be close to. Alright, let's have a look and see where we're going with this. The soybeans. Whoops. Uh, soybeans here. I want to go to the US dairy. That should be the end of the waterfront, which it is. Alright, let's go off and sell this 54,000 litres of soybeans and see how much money we get. In fact, the dairy's just down the road, you need a shop, isn't it? Alright, come on, rain, go away. Let's look over there, see how that John Deere's going. He's up the top, obviously, so I can't see him. Yeah. I haven't been in here to drop anything off as yet, so I'll hear it around here, that's okay. Alright, unload and let's see what we can make out of this. Probably going to be about 80,000 I would expect, thereabouts. Oh, actually no, maybe a bit less than that, maybe about 70,000. Oh, there we go, 62,899. Righto. Let's head back up, let's uh, take some more stock because we haven't got to worry about uh, feeding any, uh, any animals at the moment so we can just go and sell it all off and uh, make money as quick as we possibly can for the moment uh, if we then decide to get some uh, cows or some pigs then we will need to worry about what crops we've got and keep a bit of crops for making or providing food for the animals uh, certainly at the moment we don't have that for the sheep. We've got 600,000 litres of grass uh, stored away. Although, again, uh, as you can see, we've, we need about 60,000, I think it was, um, for the sheep, to store the sheep up. So um, we still need to be on top of grabbing everything we possibly can. All right, let's go. Let's sell some corn. All right, where's the best price for some corn? Um... That's currently at the animal supplies by the look of it. Uh, yep, there it is. Oh, actually, no, it's not. It's at Jeeb's Mill. All right, so Jeeb's Mill. Let's have a look and see where we go to Jeeb's Mill. Yeah, down that way. All right. So this is a full load of corn. So this should come in at about. I guess about 60,000 again. How wrong can I be? Well, obviously if you watch this channel very often, I'm wrong quite regularly when it comes to guesstimating how much money I'm going to make. So, we'll, uh, we'll see how that pans out. Okay, off we go. So Jeeves Mill is this one just here. So, uh, just down the road. Oh, coming in a bit too hot there. Here we go. And let us unload it. There we go. Hope it doesn't get caught on the tr on the top of the uh, building, and it has. We just won't we won't look at that. Oh my! Oh my! Oh my! Oh my! That's very poor. 
Right. What a mess. Right. Mm -hmm. Let's try it the other way and see if we can go any better. In fact, it looks like we're pretty much stuck there now. Let's see if I can unload it there. Right. That's a bit of a mess. What we got there? No damage seen. Alright. So nowhere near as much as we wanted. But nonetheless. Right, we've gotten out of there. It's a good start. Alright. So the corn gone. I don't think there's much else to take out, so we'll just go up and see and we'll just get rid of whatever we can. But it gives us 200,000, um, so we're a third of the way. Well, that basically means we can take a loan, uh, about $400,000 or so, uh, and we should be able to get another plot of land and uh, extend our farm. So uh, it's not such a bad thing, I guess. Alright, so there's still 26,000 corn in there. I don't really want to go back in there. Uh, 38,000 canola, barley, wheat. There's a fair bit of wheat. Let's get some wheat. Alright, best price for wheat at the moment is county mill. Yep, county mill it is. Alright, county mill I think is the one down there. Right? Nope, maybe it's not. Alright, where's the county mill? Over this way. Right. It's on the other end of the map. map. Part of the map we haven't really been to yet. We haven't had to do a delivery down there yet. But we will right now. <clears throat> and strangely enough, that will get us almost to the end of the episode because... Uh, that's already been 20 minutes, and I can't believe how quick time flies. Anyway, that is all okay. So he's going to take this down, we'll drop this off, we'll then reassess and see how much money we've got. Um, I've probably got another 50,000 litres of wheat uh, that we could sell. But, uh, oh, here we go. We have the same problem with this one as what we did the last one, aren't we? Let's see if we can hopefully manage this one a little bit better. Fine. What's it thought on? Seriously? He's going to get caught on that, which is what probably caught us out last time. How far up can we come? There we go. Let's see how this goes. Right, you want to stop? You want to stop? You want to stop about now? Nope. Oh, he's behaving though, for the moment. Let's try again from here. This is probably not going to bode well. So this trailer isn't really well designed for uh, being used in this uh, drop-off point. Get that last little bit out. 
perfectly without it trapping us. Come on, come on, come on. Right. So, let's see. Right, so 247,000. So let's have a look. Right. What are we going to want to do? I'm going to want to, before we finish off here, I think... Field 11,698. That field there, 691. I think for the price, that gives us a slightly bigger field. Um, so I'm thinking that might be the one to go. Uh, that one gives me more grass space. So I could probably extend that field out a bit actually. In fact, that's probably not a bad thing to do either. Um, all right, let's have a look and see what crops are in there. So that one there's got sugar beets. Uh, what's the status of it? Uh, harvested. So we can straight away go in there and sow, uh, which is fine. 11 has been cultivated. Uh, I think in that case, it'll be field 11 to buy. So in that case, we need four hundred and say fifty thousand dollars what can we borrow let's get a little bit extra just to give us a bit of leeway so 780,000 is what we'll get and we should have a balance of 512,000 532,000 right so bit more Let's see how far we can go up that'll lift right okay so 757,000 with a huge loan but we can now buy this field here which we're going to do would you like to buy this land yes I would so that's now ours as well. Right. So now we have um, an extra big pot of land. We have a huge debt and we have time on our hands to do the farming. So uh, that's what we're going to do. So that is time for us to end there. So in the next episode, we are going to harvest the fields that are ready to harvest. And we're going to get into this field over here, which is one immediately on our right hand side now. We now own that. And that is just ready for seed, so that'll be nice and quick to go. And we'll be checking out our brand new Bujolt Cedar on that field. And we should be good to go. So, uh, yeah. Thanks very much for watching. And hopefully we'll see you again very, very soon back here on Lakeland. Hope you're enjoying the series and all that sort of stuff. Uh, if you are, leave a like, leave a comment. Uh, tell your friends about us as well if you're enjoying the video and the series and the other content on the channel. Uh, and don't forget to come and join us on Discord. Check us out on Twitch, Twitter, and Facebook. And of course, don't forget to subscribe if you're already subscribed to the channel. And when you do that, make sure you press that alarm notification icon as well so you're made aware of when new episodes are available on the channel. So until next time, make sure you take a trailer into the tip point that'll actually tip without damaging the trailer and the building. Hmm. Right. Until next time, no matter whether it's morning, afternoon, evening or night, no matter where you're in the world, take care of yourselves and your loved ones, particularly at this point in time, and we'll see you again very, very soon back here at Ducks All The Gaming. Take care. See you later. Bye.